Welcome back to The Wasteland, my friends. Today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys five things to do when you're bored in Fallout Shelter. Before we even get into the tips, or the um, the things to do, um, I'd like to say that I've been playing this game for f probably more than five years. Def definitely more than five years or more. Um, I can't I can't remember, but I do remember I have ratings on Google Play from 2017 when I was just a little one, and um, I loved this game, and I've loved it forever, and I've played it for a long time, but there's definitely been breaks, and one of the reasons I actually came back to it was because of the update, then I decided to make YouTube on it, and yeah, that's why we're here, but um, before that, I would just play it off and on, I'd play it, it'd be my main game until I was, I was able to get Fallout 4, which is sometime in 2017, maybe 18, before I really knew what Fallout was, this was my first Fallout game, and, and then I was able to play other Fallouts, but um, it was mainly Fallout 4 and Fallout Shelter, and I actually learned a lot from all the Fallouts because of this game, which just kind of sounds weird, but yeah. And anyways, let's get into the actual things. I just wanted to say that like I know what it's like to be bored in Fallout Shelter because I've played it for so long, So, and I've been off and on. And the number one thing I wanted to say is that if you're really having a boring time and you're just not having fun, maybe take a break. Like, don't just um, don't just look up how to just have fun on it. Might need to just take a break so you don't get burnt out and don't want to play it ever again. So, yeah, that would be the first one. But I'm actually not going to count it as part of the five. But the first one is going to be to max out your vault. Um, This is probably obvious, and I hope it's not a waste of your time, but it's really not... It really gives me a lot of satis um, satisfaction to really max out my vault. Um, I Like, as you can tell, I'm kind of just trying to build it all nice... And um, we'll kill these ghouls while I'm talking, because these guys got it. But you just want to upgrade your vault. Um, what I mean is, like, obviously make your dwellers max stats, make your weapons max stats, all that. Make everything max. Um, that's one thing to do when you're bored, but you can't really do that because of it's limited by money and time. And time and money, you know, they're the number one resource in the world. So let's get into number two. This one's way... You can do this, like, right now if you wanted to. It's giving your vault a theme. Um, I've seen a lot of people in the comments of my other shelter videos say they've done this. And I haven't really done it yet, but I've de I definitely want to. I want to add um, some things from Fallout that I love. I haven't done it yet. Obviously, we got Amber Knight, which I, I don't know. She, I don't think she's from Fallout, but... Just give your vault a theme. Whether that be from Star Trek, which um, I don't know why I said Star Trek. I only watched Star Trek. Star Wars, um, Supernatural... Any anything like a theme, guys. Like just give your dwell your dwellers names from your favorite movies and shows. Try to center them around something. I think that'd be pretty fun. It'd be a cool challenge, especially if you were gonna do it off a of vault. Like um, if my vault wasn't six oh five and it was like thirteen, I'd try to name as many dwellers from vault thirteen. Probably um, that'd be cool if you could let death claws inhabit at your vault, but they obviously can't. But yeah, just try to give it a theme. Like um, I know a lot of people do where they just get rid of all females when they get really high level, and then they just make it all Gary and just get the same exact person. That'd be kind of funny. I think that'd be sick. Um, let me know in the, down in the comments if you actually have a theme. That'd be cool. But um, next would be to um, recreate your favorite characters. That's kind of the same thing, but not really, because the theme is more of one thing, and then recreating your favorite characters. That's uh, To me, it's different. It'd be recreating your favorite people, not just from Fallout, but from e everything. So in my other vault, my PlayStation vault, I'd have, um, let's get Cappy real quick. I'd had, I had Sam and Dean, and I, I don't think I got anyone from here, which I definitely need to. I know I'm going to add Navigator. Um, I want to do, I want to do it lore friendly as possible, so I'm not going to actually do anything from other pop culture. Maybe Mad Max, I think that'd be as far, um, going away from lore as I'd go. But yeah, just give your characters some uniqueness. Like, um, make them, uh, make them, um... Like, give them, recreate, not not make them unique, but just recreate characters that you love from pop culture and all that. Um, and then number four would be to unlock all the outfits and weapons. Now, I've kind of overlooked this in this vault, but I just now started. So, as you can tell, this heavy synth armor is going to take a while to make, but um, I've actually today, and then I'm making an improved institute, get out here, an improved institute pistol, because... I've been trying to collect every single weapon, and um, today I didn't have like the pipe pistols, the hair trigger pipe pistol. I'm just trying to get this all collected because I like to collect in this game. Um, collecting stuff can actually be really hard. Like I don't know what I got to craft, and then I have to look and look back and forth, and it's just kind of annoying. 
But yeah, so as you can tell, I'm, I'm just trying to collect all as much weapons. I'm making them, even though I probably won't use them, making weapons that I won't use. Like, um, I don't know how much I'll really use this improved institute pistol. But it's just so I can collect them. And I usually just sell them afterwards, unless I like them or they're decent. Like this, this is garbage, so we're gonna just... I don't know why I clicked that. That was a waste. Um, but yeah, so just try to collect all the weapons and outfits. It's really, it's a fun challenge. I wouldn't recommend doing it for the pets and the dwellers. That's going to be really hard. Obviously, still work for it, but I wouldn't focus on it. It's just going to be really hard. Um, for number five, we're going to be giving your dwellers uniqueness. I know I said this, but that's because I messed up. Um, this means make your dwellers unique. Not necessarily recre recreating characters from pop culture, but just giving them your own style. Maybe if you're a big nerd and you want to add a background or lore for them, you can. Maybe give your vault a lore. I don't know. I, you guys know me. I'm kind of a nerd. I, I I haven't done that, but I mean, it's not like I wouldn't do that. Um, for instance, for uniqueness, I would say would be here, waste lord. Obviously, I gave him, I gave him stuff that I actually I don't really care for. The the power armor, all this stuff is just for looks. This power armor T51F. I know I've said it before, but it's it's garbage. Plasma Caster is not the best, but it looks badass, and it looks great together because of the Vault Dweller from Fallout 1, and that's what I'm kind of recreating. It's not that I'm recreating a character, it's just I'm trying to make my guy what I would like. Um, and that's that's not maxing out your character, really. That's just making them unique to you. These people, these people are just for peak efficiency right here. We got Sturdy Wasteland Gear. I could obviously do, like, um, the best one. I can't, I can't remember the name, but it is Endurance Plus 7. And then the Dragon's Maw. Uh, Dragon's Maw, it's arguably one of the best guns in the game. Um, but yeah, so just give, make them unique. Like, I, I'm going to sound like a nerd right now, but these two guys right here, Joe Robinson and Zachary Henriquez, I gave them lore like the like they were just like best friends growing up in the vault, like their parents were killed and stuff, and they they were from a different um, a civilization away from the vault, and they've kind of grown up together as brothers, and they came here, and then they've um, fought, got power armor and stuff. And so I wanted them to have, like, the same equipment. Like, just the both power armor, and then they work together. This guy's got a fat man to take out guys that are far away and in groups. And he's got them in case the Gatling plasma, or Gatling laser, in case they get close and stuff. And I just kind of, I give them, like, kind of similar hairstyles. Not same facial hair, because I wanted them to be still separate, but more like brothers. And, um, yeah, it's kind of, it's that. Giving your dwellers uniqueness. It makes your vault feel really more personalized. Um, yeah, like... I don't know, it sounds nerdy, I know, but yeah, just give them, like, personalities. Especially if you don't just make them all the same. Like, it's it's going against giving your vault a theme, but it's it's just fun to make them, you know, unique. But yeah, um, I think that's, that's going to be it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you guys don't get bored of this game. If you get bored, like I said, for number tip, tip number one is just to take a break from it. So you don't get burnt out. Um, but everything else, I hope it really helps you with um, just having a good time. Because I'm not really bored, I just wanted to something to do, you know? I hope that makes sense, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to destroy these aliens, and I hope you guys all have a... a wait, hold up, let me remember my, um, my line. Yes, may the wasteland treat you with peace and prosperity.